हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम सी अक्षता उड़पा वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट स्ट्रैटेजीज कैन फेल इफ योर रिस्क मैनेजमेंट इज नॉट गुड सो टुडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट रिस्क मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ऑल द वीडियोस दैट आई हैव मेड टिल नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो विच विल गिव यू very a uh, clear understanding as to the risk management so uh, watch this video till the end whatever be your strategy however good you are in these strategies if your risk management is not good then it is not going to work because uh, it's not possible that any strategy gives 100% uh, returns sometimes stop loss hits will definitely be there and if your risk management is not good then maybe these stop losses can cost you more and wipe out your capital so the entire goal all over here is to sustain in the stock market so when a beginner gets into stock market most of the time he comes with the motive of gaining profits he wants to make big profits in one trade or in one day or in one week which is not definitely not going to happen maybe initially uh, by luck you will make some money but going forward definitely you are going to end up in losses if you go with that motive of uh, making profits in all of your trades initially but the main goal of yours should be to sustain in the stock market at least for one year without wiping your capital because initial losses are not avoidable when you start learning in the stock market it is a process it is like a business and in business always there will be investment so when you start learning in the stock market some losses will definitely be there so you have to make sure that these losses are uh, do not turn out to be uh, such a big losses that you will not be able to recover from it so make sure that your risk management is good now the risk taking capacity of every individual differs my risk taking capacity may not be same as yours or your risk taking capacity may not be same as the next person's so first we need to know what is our capital how much is our risk taking capacity out of the total capital that we have how much uh, capital we are ready to lose which will not affect our daily functioning all these should be kept in mind and then only we can decide as to what is exactly our risk management technique so uh, it is very important for each of us to have a clear cut picture of the risk clear cut picture of the amount that we are ready to give for taking that risk only then you will be able to sustain in the stock market for the long run and once you are able to sustain there or to stick on to stock market for one year then obviously you are going to learn much over here and going forward you will be able to make profits or you will be able to take money from the stock market to make this more simple i will give you uh, an example which will make it everything clear that is if we take an example of a good doctor okay uh, how does a person become a good doctor this process starts right from his childhood right right from the time the science is introduced or the science subject is introduced into that child and later on uh, he will learn biology and once he gets into college he will learn deep into these different aspects and then um, that person will do uh, mbbs and then md and then he becomes officially a specialist now again for him to become a good doctor whom uh, the patients will trust and uh, whom a uh, patients would love to go for that happens only by experience he will uh, gain the experience in the long run and then he will be become a specialist whom patient would wish to go for so similarly in stock market if you want to make money from the stock market then continuous practice and experience is very much important most of you want to directly you know check the uh, charts you have you want to directly do the prediction and enter into a trade which is never going to happen when we Uh, come up with different strategies and when we start analyzing the previous charts to know uh, what is the movement of the uh, stock or index most of you will have the opinion as to why are you analyzing the uh, history history is very easy to analyze tell us what will happen next tell us how to take the entry what should be the entry what should be our entry point what should be our exit point but this doesn't work that way if you are not able to understand the simple history if you are not able to analyze the history that has happened then how will you analyze the future that is how will you uh, predict what comes next history always repeats so it is very important for you to analyze the charts again and again the more you analyze the more 
perfect you become again 100% perfection is not possible in stock market that is the reason risk management will come into picture so now i will tell you one uh, basic a rule effective rule uh, if you don't want to complicate things then apply this simple rule uh, which will definitely help you to sustain in the stock market for the long run and this rule is called 1% rule this is as simple as that your risk will be 1% of your capital per day so your risk per day will be 1% of your capital okay that is if your capital is say 50000 okay i'll just take an example if your capital is say 50000 then in one day you will not lose more than 1% of 50000 that is 500 so say for example in one day you are taking two trades okay let's assume you will take two trades in a day so 500 divided by 2 that is per trade your risk will be just rupees 250 this is how you are going to trade you will just take one percent of the total capital for one day that is if we take 50,000 as a total capital then the total loss that you will make in a day is just 500 now every day stop loss is not going to hit so whenever stop loss get hit your loss will be limited to 500 rupees now if you are taking one trade then per trade your loss will be 500 rupees now if you decide to take two trades per day then 500 by 2 250 will be your uh, stop loss that is the amount of loss that you will take per trade now is it advisable to take more trades never don't take more than two trades per day if you are a beginner okay over trading is also not good and another important thing to note is never ever directly start doing intraday trades okay if you are completely new to stock market then first start with swing trading learn the charts analyze them once you are able to make some money out of swing trades then only start doing intraday trades because making money in swing trade is comparatively easier than intraday trading because here you have enough time to adjust and when you trade in liquid stocks chances of making uh, profits is more so start with swing trading once you are able to analyze the charts in the longer time frames that is in the daily time frames then get into shorter time frames and start intraday trading and when you start intra intraday trading don't go for more than two trades per day okay now you know how much uh, loss you are capable of taking per trade now how will you decide the quantity usually what happens is most of you will start trading deciding your quantity you will say i will trade in 100 quantity 100 units or 200 units uh, or some will directly go about and start trading in 500 units this should not be your approach first you have to decide your loss and then you have to decide your quantity now how will you decide your quantity say you have taken uh, wipro okay and let us assume that uh, it's right now at 260 and say 250 is your stop loss okay you have entered a trade that is your entry is at 260 and your stop loss is 250 which means 10 points right our stop loss comes to 10 points now we know per trade how much is our risk 250 so now 250 by stop loss points 10 points that is your quantity will be 25 and not more than that okay similarly if you are, are taking only one trade then 500 is your loss taking capacity 500 by 10 so 50 becomes your quantity okay so this is how first decide your uh, loss taking capacity then look for the stop loss points so if the 260 is your entry point 250 is your stop loss points check what is the stop loss points coming to here it is coming to 10 now divide the risk amount that is the amount that you are okay losing divide that amount by the stop loss points which will give you the quantity and then take trade only with that quantity not beyond that so by doing this continuously if you have this uh, strict discipline in trading then definitely you can escape from you know losing your entire capital you can definitely sustain in the stock market by starting following this rule and along with this start trading only in stocks when you start intraday trading try only stocks and take only maximum two trades per day keeping this principle in mind this will definitely help you in sustaining in the stock market for the long run along with that 
This will also help you in educating yourself by understanding the charts and by doing proper analysis. So this was all for today. If you want to open a trading account, you can open it either with Zerodha, Upstock or Ellis Blue using my referral link. If you open an account using my referral link, you will get my Haikanashi course for free. And if you want to check out my other courses, then you can check it out on my website www.caakshataudupa.com. Here you can check out my price action course, option course as well as my combo course. Also, if you are interested in my indicator, uh, which is a combo of three indicators, one for intraday trading in stocks, one for intraday trading in Nifty and bank nifty and the other one is for a uh, swing trading and long term investment so if you want to check that indicator the link is available on my website also a complete video as to how you have to use this indicator how does this help is also shared over here and you can also check the back tested results of these uh, indicators on my website so yeah if you have not yet joined my free telegram channel that is udupa finance then do join using the link given in the description so if you are watching this video without clicking the like button yet, then please click the like button. It motivates me to do more and more educational content. If you are watching this video without subscribing, then please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. I will be back with another informative content very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.